Hello, my dear students. Здравствуйте, мои дорогие студенты. Меня зовут Вероника. My name is Вероника. And I am a professional Russian teacher. And yes, of course, I am a Russian native speaker. And today, at this Russian lesson, I would like to talk a little about Russian names for men. I will teach you how to pronounce popular Russian masculine names in Russian with correct Russian pronunciation. I will teach you the origin, the etymology of the Russian names. And, of course, I will teach you interesting Russian suffixes, how to make diminutive form in Russian from these names and what do these suffixes actually mean. And I would like to start from the name that in English you pronounce as Vladimir. For example, the name, how you pronounce in English language of our Russian president is Vladimir Putin. But that's a mistake for Russian people because in Russian language we call him Vladimir Putin, not Vladimir, but Vladimir. And today I would like to start with the origin of this Russian name. So. Vladimir, it consists of two interesting parts. The part number one, Vlad, comes from the Russian word Vladet. Vladet means to own, yeah? And Mir, it is the world. So Vladimir, literally, it means the person who owns the world. I talk only about etymology now. You understand, yeah? So, yeah. This is the full name that you can find in Russian passport. And now let's talk about diminutive forms. First of all is Valodya. Valodya. Where you see the red color, there is the stress in this Russian word. And according to Russian phonetic system, you should pronounce the first O in, as an A. Valodya. Why? Because it is in unstressed position, without stress. That's why this O in unstressed position you pronounce as A. ва ло -дя. This is quite a familiar diminutive. And you can say also ва ло -тька. ва ло -тька. But if you are in a really good relation with this person, you know him quite well, yeah? If he is kind of your friend or a real friend, yeah? You can call him Vovka. Vovka. And here you need to pay again attention to the second V in the Russian name Vovka. The first V we pronounce like V. The second V we pronounce like F. Why? Because it is standing in front of K. In this position, we pronounce V as F. Vovka. And we have another uh, derivative, which is very funny. Vavan. Vavan. Um, normally, girls, they do not use these um, forms. This uh, form is usually... Um, more popular in a male company, in company of men, yeah, Vavan. Or, um, if you are friends, you can call him Vovchik, uh, Vovchik. And uh, we had one good movie in Soviet Union, um, it was called Starik Hatabuch, and there was a <laughs> little boy, his full name was Vladimir, Vladimir, and his short name was Volya. Воля, yeah. Actually, the name, the Russian noun, воля, means freedom, yeah. We have two words, воля and свобода, but both of them mean freedom in Russian language. So, yeah, now you know if you are a um, friend of a Russian man whose name is Vladimir, you know how to call him, yeah. Um, some of you asked me how to deal, how to cope with Russian suffixes, and I hear you. Я вас слышу. That's why I started to make this topic about Russian suffixes, yeah? And here I would like to talk about another name 
that is quite popular in Russian culture. Alexander. You know that in English language you pronounce this name as Alexander or something like that. In Russian, this ye in the middle is an unstressed position. It is a weak position without stress. And according to the Russian laws, phonetic, phonetic laws, you have to pronounce this name as Alexander. Not Alexander, but Alexander. Yeah. And now let's talk about diminutive forms, kind of nicknames. The most popular nickname for Alexander, Alexander in Russian language, is Sasha. Sasha. By the way, I forgot to say that in Russian language we have two um, kind of options for men and for women. For men, we use Alexander, and for women, we use Alexandra. And Sasha is good for both of them. So, Sasha. It can be a man, it can be a woman, and it is absolutely not clear without the context. Who are you talking about, yeah? So, Sasha. Or you can say Sashka. Sashka. And another form that many Alexanders do not like in Russian is Shura. For foreigners who learn Russian or who just live in Russia, they are always surprised how can you make from Alexander this weird form Shura? I don't know how, but that's it. Yeah, we have this form Shura or Shurka. Shurka. And if you are kind of in a good relationship, you are very familiar with this person, you can call him Sanya or Sanyok. Sanya, Sanyok. <laughs> but you cannot call your colleague Sanyok, your boss Sanyok. It's very informal, yeah, you know. Or, uh, for example, this is more like you use this form Sashenka, Sashenka. If you are in a good relationship with this person, you love him, maybe it is your brother, your husband, your son, you can call him. Sashenka. This is positive situation, but of course there is some negative. For example, if you are a man and you saw your you saw your girlfriend with another man and his name is Alexander, and you of course got angry and jealous, you can say Idi Idi Ksweimo Sashenke. Go go to your Sashenka. In this context, of course, you don't like this. Alexander, Alexander, and you just want to show it, yeah, <laughs> your negative reaction, kinda. And, uh, okay, let's talk about another popular masculine names in Russia, and the name number three is Sergei, Sergei. Again, here you need to pay attention to the Russian vowel Y. Yeah. Here you have two ye, but the first one is pronounced as i, sir, and the second one is pronounced as ye. Why? Of course, it is all about Russian stress. The first ye is an unstressed position without stress. That's why you pronounce it is this as i, sir, gay. Yeah. For example. Diminutive form is Sirioja. Sirioja. Here, many foreigners who speak Russian, they are quite surprised because Sirioja finishes with a and looks like feminine name. For example, Gabriela, Maria, Jessica, and many others. But no, Sirioja is masculine name in Russian language. Yeah, but it changes. As a feminine word, if you talk about cases, yeah, it behaves like a feminine word, but it is a masculine name. That's tricky. It's true. Or you can say Sirioshka. Sirioshka. By the way, it's very interesting too, because Sirioshka in Russian language, it means an earring. Sirioshka. Yeah. 
And here you need to pay attention again to Russian phonetics because this Z sound stands in front of K. That's why this Z should be pronounced as Sh. Sireshka. Yeah, not Sireshka, but Sireshka. And if you do really love this person, yeah, and you want to show your affection, kinda, your love, your warm attitude, your gratitude, maybe, you can say Сиреженька. This is what a mother can say to her son or what a sister can say to her brother. Сиреженька. And there is more French-like. Um, it looks like a French word, actually. There is the form Serge. Serge. Uh, it's a form from Sergei. And uh, there is a diminutive kind of nickname that is more used in male company. You can say Siroga. Siroga. It sounds not rude, but normally men use this. Yeah, Siroga. <laughs> okay. And there is, there are some more names that I would like to discuss in this Russian lesson. For example, Alexei. Alexei. It is kind of similar to Alexis, maybe, or Alex in English. So you see that we have two ye here again, but the first one is pronounced like e, yeah, and the second is pronounced like ye. Alexei. This is the full name that you can find in the Russian passport, in official Russian documents again, yeah. But if you want to show your friendship, you can call this person Lyosha, Lyosha or Lyoshka. And the option that is more used in the male company, in the company of different men, it is Lyoha. Lyoha. Or uh, what mother can say to her son is Lyoshenka. And the uh, more international option that normally young men love to choose is Alex. Alex. Or there is one more option, Alyosha. <laughs> I think that not many Russian men love this form because Alyosha, it resembles, reminds us the folklore. We have a legend about Russian Bogatyr. Bagatir is <laughs> kind of Russian traditional folklore here with a sword and with a shield, with a helmet, yeah. Um, yeah, so one of these heroes, one of these Bagatir was called Alyosha Popovich and <laughs> all Russian people know this and yeah, that's why not many Russian men love to choose this option Alyosha, but it it exists, <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's continue. Yeah, we have another name, Nikolai. Nikolai. It is similar to English or European form Nicholas, yeah. But here again, you need to pay attention to the Russian phonetics as usual because this O is in unstressed weak position without stress. And it should be pronounced as a ni ka lai. And now let's talk about nicknames, different. First, and the most used, the most popular in Russian culture is kolya. Kolya. Here, many foreigners, they do not hear a lot of difference between Coca-Cola. I mean, this uh, drink that, of course, you know, it is very famous all over the, the world, yeah. But cola, I mean the drink, this L is hard, cola. But cola, the L is soft. There is kind of a very, very small E between L and Y. Cola, yeah. I hope you can hear this difference. And another form, you can say kolka, kolka. And the form that is mo more used in masculine um, society between men, not between women and men, but between men in um, male company, 
there is the name Kalyan. Kalyan. Here again, you need to pay attention to the Russian pronunciation because the stress in the word Kalyan is on the last syllable. And yeah, this O is again in a stressed position. That's why you pronounce uh, this as Kalyan, not Kolyan. Yeah. When a woman says Kalyan, it sounds a little bit hmm, I don't know, appropriate, it's not rude, um, but maybe too informal, too familiar, a little bit rude, maybe, I don't know, I never used this form. And of course, what form the mother can say to her son is Kolinka, Kolinka, yeah? Okay, I hope you understand. And let's continue, but before we continue, I would like to say if you think that my Russian lessons are interesting and useful for you, you can support my channel and you can send me a donation. It inspires me, of course. And huge thank you to Robert, Kenneth and uh, Bears for your constant support of my channel. And let's continue. Yeah, there is one more name that is super popular in Russian language. It is Dmitri. Dmitri. So yeah, the popular nickname is Dima. Dima. Again, it looks like a feminine name, but it's a mistake. This name is masculine. Dima or Dimka. And what mother can say, like a lovely... Um, attitude with lots of love yeah dimachka or a girlfriend can say this form to her boyfriend a wife can say this to her husband kinda but if man says to another man dimachka it sounds very strange very weird um maybe it's like um i don't know in Russian, we would say izdyovka, maybe sarcasm, yeah, yeah, you can say sarcasm. If a man says to another man, dimochka, it's more like a sarcasm, but it's not usual to, to call this, yeah. Another form that is popular is diman, diman, and there is another root, yeah, you can say mitya, mitya, or mitka. And even Mitai. <laughs> Mitai, but it's very funny because it resembles to the Russian name of some fish, which is Mintai. <laughs> it can be a little bit offensive, yeah. Okay, and I forgot to say that Diman, it is a name um, that is more used in male society, in male company, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, if you live in Russia or if you are in some Russian society, you just need to know this. Maybe you do not need to use all of these forms, but at least you need to understand that Mitya is a nickname to Dmitri, right? So you can understand what people are talking about or who people are talking about, kind of, yeah? There are two more names to discuss, and I would like to talk about Pavel. This is similar to English name Paul. In Russian we say Pavel. So yeah, Pasha, Pashka. Uh, they are normal options how to pronounce these nicknames, Pasha or Pashka. And in male company we say Pashok, <laughs> you can say this, or Pavlik. This we say about kids and maybe about men who is not very strong yeah a strong man you will never call public yeah it's more for weak and childish maybe romantic kind of man or you can say pavlusha kind of the same very similar to public yeah and let's talk about the last name for today's Russian lesson. And I choose the name Anton. Anton, that in English normally foreigners pronounce as Anton. But in Russian we change the stress and we say Anton in Russian language. So yeah, uh, I would like to start from the nickname Antosha. 
Antosha. Again, it looks like feminine name, but you know, it is a trap. <laughs> it is not a feminine, but a masculine name, Antosha or Antoshka. Yeah, in Russian, we adore, Russian people adore to use this Russian suffix k. Yeah, um, you can see it a lot in many different um, nouns. And another one is Tosha or Toshka. Tosha, Toshka. I do really love this um, form. It sounds very nice, in my opinion. Tosha, Toshka. And also, when I was a kid, there was a very popular um, glance hmm, magazine named Toshka. Um, it was for kids and it was talking about different um, animals and plants, nature in general. Yeah, I love this um, magazine, Toshka. Mm, and the form that is more used in masculine society in male company is Toha. Toha, it sounds, you know, strong and impressive. Toha. And yeah, I had... Um, how you say an Adna classnik, classmate, yeah. I had a classmate Anton and in school he was called Tonchik. Tonchik. Mm, for me it reminds a uh, gin tonic, yeah. <laughs> Tonchik. But okay, it's um, not offensive at all. It's nice um form to call a man Tonchik, yeah, but it's very friendly, yeah. So I hope that you love this Russian lesson. I hope that it is interesting, funny and useful for you. If so, you need to know you need what uh, you know <laughs> what you need to do. You can hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It makes me happy every new subscriber when I see the changes in my statistics. Oh, it makes me really happy. Mm, yeah, and uh, you know, you can support my channel and send me a donation. It makes me even more happy. <laughs> and yeah, if you want, I can continue making this series of videos about Russian names. And I can make... Um, I have two ideas. Of course, I want to make a video about feminine, female Russian names, kind of like this. And if you want, you can write in the comments below your name in English and I will make a video about your name if I will have at least five of them. So for example, maybe your name is John and I can find some similarities in Russian language and make a video about your name. Спасибо за просмотр. Thank you for watching. Увидимся скоро. See you soon. Пока-пока.